All right, hello everyone. Got a little cartoon funny for you for the day. I know a lot of people had a, a lot of downtime recently, some big losses in the future, so I thought I'd do something, you know, cute, funny today. If that offends anybody, too fucking bad. Um, so I did a video before, and it, it somehow is not being processed properly, so I'll try to get it posted up again. I did a post on um, Shotani. In fact, let me do that so I can jump on here right now. I think I can do that. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Yes, I can. Yep, there it is. All right, so I got the video posted of him. It's about, I think it's all of his home runs for the year so far. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty amazing stuff to watch this guy swing a bat. You know, like I said before, I played baseball, and the guy's got an amazing swing, and he's just, he's a damn good ball player, man. No matter how you how you look at it or whatever, he, he's just good. So what I wanted to show you was some of the numbers with him. His number is 17, right? So, you know, the ones and the sevens, 117 for the World Series this year. The Dodgers have a 117. 17 is a big number. Take away the one, you got a seven. Seven's a big number as well, right? Lucky seven, wealthy. Saturn is seven, wealthy. All that stuff together. Now look at his numbers. Shohoyatana. 73 and 21. Otana, Otani, 67, 19th prime, 31 prime, and 11 prime. Shahoni, 78 and 12 prime. Now look at this. Los Angeles Dodgers, 73 and 21, like Shahoni Otana, 73 and 21. Huh. Interesting stuff. I've heard that the Dodgers are going to end up playing the LA. Uh, Angels this year, Los Angeles. There's been a lot of stuff tied to L.A. this year. We had Elgin Baylor die. Baylor won. We had the Lakers sacrifice, whatever the fuck they did this year. With Kobe's pussy coward ass walking off the court with six minutes left, wearing number six. I mean, you know, can't script it any better, right? Just a coincidence. Quinky dink. But look at some of these numbers. I did a little quick cypher so you can see the 21. The 11 times. <coughs> Excuse me, 11 ties into that, too. There's more 11s in the codes. I just didn't post everything. It's, you know, it's a lot of work. But uh, Shohoni Yatana and Dodgers, 73-73. It's right there. And there's, I think it's like L.A. Dodgers or something. It's uh, 117. But So I had a discovery pop up. Uh, I was doing a decode a long, long time ago back, I think March 25th. It was like my very first decode I did. I just dove in and started looking and digging and looking at all this different stuff and you know, thanks to Zach for helping with, uh, you know, giving us these this information to do research and follow in his footsteps. But so check this out. No one's talking about it. I asked people. I sent it to Zach. No comment. Sent it to someone else. No comment. I've sent it out to probably five people. Now, I live in Pittsburgh. And what the news is saying here in Pittsburgh is the Steelers are going to be 8-8. Eight and eight. So they were 11-0 last year. And that was Ben's best stretch, best production he's ever had in his entire career. So after that 11, the guy named Booger something on the ESPN, the tall black guy, cool guy, his name is Booger or Booger something, B-O-O-G-E-R, he said, oh, when they won 11 games, the Steelers are going to lose the next four or five. I was like, what? Just like he just had paper like Rand. He's asking, Steelers look good. He's like, yeah, guys, pay's like, yeah, they're going to lose the next four or five. I was like, oh, okay, well, how do you know that? And what made you say that? What what, what in your brain made you say they're going to lose the next five? Because they were killing it. All of a sudden, <clears throat> they had three games, three games in 12 days, and they lost like three of their best players on defense. And then they dropped 38 balls. Three games in 12 days, they drop 38 footballs. 38 is death. So you put that stuff together, it starts to make sense in your mind saying, well, maybe, yeah, it's a coincidence, but maybe there's something to that coincidence because they happen all the time, every single day, when you're paying attention. 
I don't know if you guys realize it back, but like when McGuire and Sammy Sosa hit those home runs going back and forth and Roger Maris, 66, 61, those numbers all tied together. And everyone's like, whoa, that's really cool. It is cool. But I didn't think it meant anything other than history repeats itself and the numbers just seem to work out that way. So I don't know. I mean, kind of strange, but it happened. And I, I can't find those numbers anymore. I can't. There were so many variations, like 61, 60 hit, 66, like d- date of birth of Roger Maris. There was numbers behind McGuire, numbers behind Sosa. It was crazy the whole the whole time. So check this out. Super Bowl 56 is coming up, equals 49. Mike Tomlin's 49, the seventh prime. Steelers are going for number seven, excuse me. Ben Ware's number seven. I'm just saying, could it be that easy of a cipher? But sometimes I think we dig way too deep in these ciphers. I've seen, I could sit there. I went and did the one about the Kraken with uh, Sidney Powell, which I posted. I started digging. There's three owners. All the owners' names add up to all the same things. The squid is the name after this. The climate change, the climate arena, all those numbers match. She even did some book back in the day. The numbers all match with that, too. She went out there, oh, we're going to release the Kraken. Everyone's like, oh, the Kraken. Well, K stands for so-and-so, A stands for so-and-so. And And those are all the the first name of all the judges that Trump just put in place. The K-R-A-K-E-N. Their last name all begin with every single letter. K-A-R-A-K-A-R-K-A-N. Wasn't that something? Because Trump's a Jesuit, too. But he's the good Jesuit, apparently. I don't know. So I started digging. I got down maybe like an hour. I'm like, I'm done because, dude, it was, it was ridiculous. There was just too many. There were the numbers kept going deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. So I posted that site. I posted that decode so you guys can see that. It's pretty cool. I've got a much bigger decode for the Steelers. I keep going back to it every few days or a couple weeks ago. I haven't done anything for about a week and a half, and I've asked some guys in the UK and London and people I talk to around the world. Nobody, nobody's even recognized that these numbers add up to anything. Like, like the 73 and 73, we've all known Zach said it could be the Angels here against the Dodgers. So 73 and 21 adds up to the Dodgers, and his name is 73-21. Based on Gematria and the codes I've seen so far, it's pretty obvious that there's a good chance he's going to play them. Or maybe he's going to make it to the championship. Maybe, they're, maybe he's going to go to the World Series and lose. I don't know. I think as bad as Jack. You listen to that, when he hits a baseball and the crack of that bat, it's freaking strong. It sounds way different than anybody else. And he is not the hardest swinging baseball player I've ever seen. I've seen Gary Sheffield can crank a baseball probably faster than him. But his form is exceptional. So if you look at the numbers, last year it was Super Bowl 55 all tied to Brady. They're saying there's going to be a black quarterback and a black quarterback. Maybe it's going to be a black quarterback and it's going to be Mike Tomlin, the black coach. Because we're not always right about these. Gonzaga, Islanders, Lakers, just saying. Remember, uh, Ben, at the end of the year last year, let the old man play. He said they, they referenced to Tom Brady. Who's the oldest quarterback in the league now? Tom Brady. And who else? Ben Roethlisberger. Could be his last year. Coming off a great year last year. Just get, when a receiver drops. 38 footballs, it's not the quarterback's fault. In the city I live in, they're down on Ben. Team's not going to be that good. We shouldn't have picked up the running back, Najee Harris, which is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. If you think that's true, you're a fucking retard. That kid's going to lead the league in total yardage. Watch. Even if there's a a backup quarterback, little five-yard dink passes to that guy, he's going to bust out 10, 15 yards every play. The guy's a stud. Oh, he's not proven. That's, I, have people, I have three people in my hometown say, oh, yeah, he's good, but he's not proven. I'm like, proven how? What, what do you mean by proven? What, what's there to prove? Like, what are you talking about? He's not proven. Well, he hasn't played. I'm like, so who the, who got recruited this year that's already played in the NFL that is proven? Because he just got drafted. No shit he's not proven, you fucking moron. Are you that fucking dumb? Are you that dense in your head? You just said that out loud? Do you not hear what you just said? 
Of course he's not proven. But if you're saying he's not proven because he's not done anything in the NFL, or if he's not proven because he didn't do much in college, he broke a lot of records in one of the top schools in the nation, Alabama, which numbers come out to 11s and 7s. Najee Harris comes out. A lot of big numbers with him, Bush, Dupree, all those guys, all tied together in numbers. But there's nothing to see here, so guess what? Good. I hope no one looks at it. I'm going to post it once. I'm not going to post it again. You want to put your money on it? Go ahead and fucking do it. I did it myself. Big, big, big odds for the Steelers right now. If they don't win, fine. I'm out my money. But at the same time, I'm telling you, I've watched Steelers my whole life. And I know good players when they come in. Bobby Brister wasn't all that great. We had a lot of quarterbacks who were, eh, so, so. And when Ben came in, I got a little worried because he threw the ball really high in the air and he couldn't see it come down. And a little scary at first, but Ben's done pretty damn good throughout the years. He's going to go to the Hall of Fame. Like him or not, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No one cares what you fucking think. No one cares what I think. What matters is what they produce on the field. And that's it. You want to get involved in the other stuff? Go ahead. But that's the numbers. Like it or lump it. This is pretty interesting yesterday. <laughs> the Yankees game was canceled. Dick Tidro, Yankees pitcher, Giants executive, dead at 74. Dick Tidro, Tidro, 53 and 154. Boston Red Sox, 53 154. Death, Red Sox, 53 74. Yeah. Sounds like death to me. So, and I posted this video, but it's for some reason not working, so I apologize. And I put a picture up here, and it is gone. I posted, that's kind of weird. I posted a picture of what ESPN said. They posted the game was canceled. A number, it said Yankees, there's a Yankees seat in the stadium. And then it showed number 12 on that seat. I'm like, well, what's 12 mean? There's a 12 prime in the Yankees code in the ciphers. So go figure. I'm sure that's a coincidence too. They could have picked number 80, 88. Or number 10, or number 27. They could have picked a thousand different numbers, but they just have just they just happened to pick number 12 on that day at that time. It, it just happened, just it's it's a coincidence. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Uh let's go through today. Oh, by the way, I did a <clears throat> By the way, guys, off the right here, I'm doing a 50% off, five bucks a month. So you current members, jump on that. Um, new people, five bucks. Um, a lot of subscribers gone away. I'm not sure why, but it's me, my mouth, a little uh, open, little, uh, you know, outspoken at times, maybe opinionated, but I don't really care because I'm, you know, I'm free. I can speak my mind as a free country. It's going to stay that way for me. Um, but you know, I, I tell the truth. Uh, if I lose four, last week I had four four games. I lost all four. I posted all four games because who knows what's going on? We don't know. I'm still new at this, but I've done pretty good. These parlays I hit hit a ten team parlay. I've had five or six parlays that are twelve or fourteen teams. I only missed two or three, so we're getting closer. A lot of two, three, fourteen parlays I've hit. I've posted them in the past. You can go back and search through this if you want and see. The proof I copy and paste right from, you know, Bet M Bet MGM and Unibet and all those other ones. I post, I copy and paste and put them right on there after I win. So you can't say they're fake. I wouldn't know how to do any graphics to fake that if I tried. So, um, that being said, uh, today we got three games. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting the baseball and soccer, or maybe a star or a check mark something like that next to the team that are the top teams of the day. So I know everyone's asking, hey, what's your best pick? What's the best game? Before I thought, well, I used to follow people and they put the best game up there and eh, they didn't always win. So I'm like, well, what's the difference? If it's a, a poor game or a good game, I, I, don't, I don't really know how to pick, but now I do. So um, I've done some extra research. I'm, feel, I'm feeling confident some of these codes I've been doing and I've been just uh, back testing throughout the past couple of weeks. 
finding that there are some better clues to better riddles to better games. So date numerology, thing like that, prime numbers, those always stand the test of time. I know we go in some bad phases here and there. It could be the moon phase, which I'm re-researching in astrology too. So Cubs, Dodgers, Mariners, uh, good, nice little parlay if you want it. I, I consider these all, these are going to be all like five-star picks. These will all be five-star picks as well. Um, I'll start posting some more. Um, I, I apologize, but I can't put like, I can, but to put five baseballs there, I have to right click, pick the baseball, click off, go back, click it again five times. It's just a pain in the butt. So I think what I'll do is I'll put my top picks here. I'll put the other picks below. Consider them like three, four star and three star. If anything goes below like a three star, let's try three star for a little bit. Don't pick them, just follow them. If they're doing well, start taking them. Make sense? All right, guys, that's all I got for today. Hope it has a good day. Pick your teams wisely. This whole thing right here, Cubs, Dodgers, Mariners, Jamaican, Costa Rica, the odds on these games really suck, but they're supposed to win pretty big too. So if these teams are, you know, not guaranteed to win, but high probability of winning, they're good to put in a parlay with these, a couple extra bucks. So you can do a five-team parlay, and maybe, maybe do a two-team, a three-team, a five-team for like a dollar or two, and then pick individual. And I think one of these – one of them was, eh, I think the Mariners are the only team with a plus, uh, what do you call it? A plus, um, ooh, you like that? Look at that. Oh, that's fun. Cool. They're like the only team with a plus 145 or something. Like The other ones are all minus. But do a couple of parlays. Do some singles, one, two, three, maybe like one, two, three singles. Or do like split these up. Two team parlay, pick the first and second, pick the second and third. Pick all three with these, mix them together. Um, you know, parlays, you just never know. But if you keep doing them, you got top picks. Probability says you're going to start winning. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. I'll post some more baseball a little bit later. Signing off. Have a great day.